Hello, I'm Adam Powell, one of the financial planners here at The Retirement Solution. I wanted to talk to you today about protecting yourself against different types of scams that are out there. Perhaps you've heard of them. One of them is called elder scams, or those scams that really target and look at retirees. So I wanted to share with you a few tools that would help you to avoid such a pitfall in your retirement strategy. Number one is to have education. Education is the first line of defense in how to avoid a scam. Be aware and up to date on the types of scams that are out there and how people are gonna to try to reach out to you to get a hold of your hard earned money. Second would be to have a trusted contact. It's important that any financial institution that you are with, that you have a listed trusted contact. This is someone that the institution can reach out to if they are questioning your, your request for funds, just to make sure that everything is on the up and up. And third would be to monitor your accounts. By being aware of what your figures are in your account, you can make sure that there are no charges that are being uh, transacted without your knowledge. You'll be aware of any type of transaction that take place that seem out of the ordinary or taking place at a different time in the month that you, are in, that you have knowledge of. So please be sure to monitor your accounts. If you have a list of accounts, that's wonderful. If you don't, now is the time to make one. For our clients that work with us out here at The Retirement Solution, we provide you your own client profile that lists your accounts out so that is easily accessible to you. Fourth is to be skeptical. If you get a phone call, an email, or even a text message from a financial institution or someone claiming to be from there, you know, make sure that if the hairs in the back of your neck stand up a little bit or you doubt it even for a second, follow that gut instinct and don't immediately respond. Do your homework first to make sure that the request you're receiving is legitimate. Remember that no financial institution is ever going to reach out to you asking you for your social security number or what your account number is. Things like that should be a direct red flag. I hope these four basic and quick items are a help to you to be skeptical and to be aware and to be cautious with all of your retirement funds.